All right, Fishaholics. Well, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is Rich and here's what we got going on for the day. I just kayaked about an hour. Yeah, an hour to get to this very beach here. But uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I'm not afraid to go the extra mile to literally to uh, <laughs> get to a hot bite. So hopefully in the end of the day, it'll be worth it. And the good news is I've already got the skunk off my back because halfway here we stopped off at a little flat, saw two snook, missed the first one, which, which was one of the bigger ones, unfortunately, but uh, got the second one. So we caught this beautiful little snook right here. And uh, for the rest of the day now, hopefully we can just go up from there. So stay tuned, let's get rigged and ready and uh, let's hit it. Let's go find some fish. Let's start right here with a Rapala X wrap. And we're basically gonna cast this real tight along the rocks and work our way all the way out to the end of the jetty. See what's here. Oh, follow already. First cast. Oh, wasn't a big one, but it's a nice, fun sized snook. Looks like the incoming tide is just about slowing down. So then we'll have the rest of the outgoing for pretty much the entire day, which should be good. I'm looking forward to like the start of the outgoing. I feel like that's when we'll see a little peak of activity. Like maybe that fish that we saw didn't munch it because he was waiting for the right time of the tide for him to turn on. So you see most fish, if not all, are very tide oriented. So you can't just go to the water, cast around with the right bait and expect to catch fish, even if they're there. You got it's all about timing. Daytime, time of the tide. So we kind of timed it when I think we would do the best. Nothing here either. This looks promising. Come on. Big snook. Big snook. Oh, got hit. Got hit right there. It's probably a little guy. Hmm. So I'm working this bait with basically a, just a simple twitch, twitch pause, causing it to dart side to side and flash around a lot. That's how I feel like these fish like it. They don't like it if you just like reel it straight in. You gotta entice them a little bit. Using a 50 pound leader as well because snook can cut you off easily by you know, running the line around on their mouth and on their gill plates. They got real sharp gill plates. Whew, it's actually kind of chilly out here, but uh, we worked our way to the end of the jetty, fished around all the rocks, and uh, it's a shame. There's fish here, but uh, they won't bite. They've got lockjaw for some reason. Maybe it's the tide, maybe it's the weather conditions. It was a little chilly last night. But uh, we're gonna hang out, give it a couple hours, just snooping around, experimenting a little bit, and uh, just see if it changes, see if they turn on, and then if not, then we'll hop in the kayak and head somewhere else. But let's uh, just keep at it. So I've got a brand new Rapala here that I wanna try and see if just changing the color could make the difference. This one here that I've been using is also older and all beat up. Maybe they want something with just a little more flash. This is also uh, like a different pattern, a little uh, mullet action. So let's tie this on and 
keep doing what we're doing. All right, we've got some nice outgoing current on the inside here now. This looks good. It's really rough. Maybe that the roughness of the seas is why these snook are a little turned off. All right, well, the same deal with uh, that other Rapala. We fished all the way back, basically, and uh, just more follows, little nips here and there. So I'm gonna have a little snack right now and chill, and then I think we're gonna try a swim bait, fish out and back, and uh, see if that can help us get on a little bite. And if not, then we're gonna get in the kayak and probably go somewhere else. That looks good. Got him. Wow. Whoo. That little guy crushed the swim bait. And he threw the swim bait. Dang it. Thought we were gonna have that one. Well, it was just a little one, but it would've been nice to catch him. All right, well, only the one here. Let's keep moving. Maybe there'll be some others that are willing to bite. I see three snooks sitting right in front of this rock to the right here. I'm gonna try and go grab the voodoo shrimp. Throw it down there right on top of them. Maybe they'll eat this. And drift it down to, towards them. Got him on the voodoo. Yeah, boys. Woo. Nice little guy. <clears throat> Using only 20 pound test, so I gotta be careful with this one. If I don't wanna lose my voodoo shrimp. Ugh. I saw like half a dozen sitting along the rocks here real tight. Go. Not a bad one right there. Got him perfectly in the side of the mouth. That's probably why he didn't cut us off or shape our line at all. There he goes. Booyah. Got him. Fish on. Woo! Nice one. Crush the swim bait. I can play this one a little harder because I got the 50 pound leader. Oh, that was a sick first run. It's a nice fish. Let's get down a little bit lower here. 
Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <sighs> Woo! Oh yeah. This is why we're out here to cooking up some fish like this. Oh yeah. Take it easy. They definitely turned on now with this outgoing tide. This guy's really trying everything he can do to break this line. Nice. Sweet. Kitek is gone. <laughs> One of the bad things about using them is they're so fragile. Whew. Just gonna get a quick pick of this one and we'll get them back. All right, let's closer look. That nice fish right there. Gorgeous. Bam, let's get them back. There she goes. All right, well, we fished our way out to the end of the jetty and saw a lot of fish in between where we caught that last one and here, but unfortunately, they're being picky. They don't want the swim bait. So uh, I think we're gonna cut the Kitek off. We'll go back to the Rapala, see if they want that now, because there's definitely like a little bit of feeding activity going on. And uh, the Rapala is definitely like my preferred lure to use. That's why we started with it earlier, but it didn't matter what I was throwing earlier. They just weren't feeding, period. So let's take advantage of this little bit of feeding activity and get back out there as quick as possible. Oh, it was a nice one right there, dang it. Oh my gosh, did you see that? First cast with the Rapala. There's a whole school of them right here. Chasing it, they're chasing it, ah. Oh. Well, that's a good sign. First cast on with the lure that before couldn't even get them to open their mouth. We got bit. All right, well, we are, I think, calling it a day. I'm back at the kayak and I'm beat. We worked those rocks hard and unfortunately just couldn't really put together a banger day, but it wasn't a terrible day. Uh, we didn't get skunked and we did catch that one nice snook because uh, there were a lot of rats along the rocks and there also were some fish bigger than the one that we caught, but um, not by much. So I think we, we did as good as we could do, especially on a day like today with the conditions we had. And last night was cold and it was you know cloudy almost all day. And I actually was having goosebumps like 75% of the day out there. And uh, I noticed when we started getting more activity was when the sun came out for a little bit. It was the start of the outgoing. We put on the Kitek and then it was just like bang, 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 switched to the Rapala, had some action on that and then um, it was over pretty much as quick as it started. So that's just the way snook can be. And it's, you know, at least we came out and tried it. You can't catch them at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date. And from here on out, uh, I might be in Charleston the next video, or if I stick around tonight, um, the next one will be still down here in Florida. But uh, I got to head back up to Charleston to pick my boat up from Decket. They were the company that installed the turf on the entire deck of my boat. So I'm excited to pick that up and show you guys how it comes out. So stay tuned. And I'm going to do a little fishing, I guess, on the way back to the ramp. And if I catch anything, I'll show you guys after this outro. But if not, then like always, live to fish, fish to live.